ready to read my daily light. <laughs> and I, I went, I have no idea what day I'm reading. <laughs> it doesn't look familiar. Oh no. It was funny. So this is a redo because I didn't know where I was. But the joy of that is God knows where we are. He meets us exactly where we're at. And he gives us words of encouragement and words of correction, words of instruction, words of his word. <laughs> I know that my Redeemer liveth. If, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. This man, because he continueth ever, hath an unchangeable priesthood. Wherefore he is able to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Because I live, you shall live also. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the firstfruits of them that sleep and slept. The Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. You were not redeemed with corruptible things, as silver and gold, from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. The Spirit speaketh expressly that in latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits. Take heed, therefore, how you hear, that the word of God, the word of Christ, dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. How sweet are thy words upon my taste! How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light, but though we or an angel of heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which have preached unto you, let him be accursed. You know, I hear so much lately about different people that they have this wild idea that because they feel or they sense or they think or they got an idea and a, some kind of emotional response to what they're learning, that they're right and everyone else must be wrong. Well, no. <laughs> what is right is Jesus. Jesus is the truth. So we start from there. We look at him. We hear from him. We talk to him. We learn from him. He gives us his spirit, the spirit of God, to open up the word of God, not that we should be able to interpret it for ourselves, but that it was supposed to point to Jesus, that everything should come back to and reflect Jesus, who is the word of God. It's not about setting up a Christian religion again and again and again and again throughout the ages that each nation has done, but it's about recognizing that being Christ-like is a relationship that you have with God, not outside of God. So a lot of times when people read their Bible and run off on some weird tangent, I always ask them, well, did you ask God about it? You know, did you talk to Jesus? Did you, you know, think about what else is in Scripture? Because if you tell me God said, you know, and then you tell me that it goes against the Bible, then I kind of wonder, you know, how did you come up with that? And you know, the people don't have an answer. They just say, oh, I only know this. And you say, okay, well, what do you know? Well, this is what I know. And you read it and you think, Okay, so what about this other scripture? Oh, no, 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 now I'm being challenged, so I have to hang on to my faith by believing in only this one scripture. No, it's the volume of the book that Jesus said that if we look at it, all of it is written of him. For in it, it's spoken of him. 
we're directed to him because he's our Lord. He, Jesus, is our salvation. Not by works of righteousness which we could do or can do or do after we're saved are we saved. But according to his mercy he saves us and saved us and will save us. I shudder when people reject in the name of prophecy or in the name of spirit of God or the name of some spiritual gift or some power they feel like they have and they reject the word of God being that they're so fearful to examine to see if they are found in the faith like Jesus said that what if someone preach another gospel we don't go out looking for people doing that you don't go knocking people down and dragging them into your own mind's court and say aha I found this and I found that you go looking at it to see if you are that way have you found yourself leading or teaching or guiding or telling people some other way of salvation than Jesus himself the Son of God the Son of Man do you look at first John and see if you're you're in sin or if you're in the faith or if you're somehow you know going off on a tangent do you examine yourself and find yourself to be led astray by your feelings do you read your Bible do you listen to your devotions as hints at the direction you should go not directions that you should go or that do you hear God speak and God says do this and then you examine it according to scripture and if it's not valid then you question God and ask him, Oh, Lord, if you're telling me to do this, um, what about this scripture? God doesn't hold that against you for questioning or wondering or examining or proving. In fact, he delights in the person whose mind is meditating on his law, who day and night is considering the ways of the Lord and how they fit together in this existence we call life as we go day to day. Because he wants you to know him. He wants you to love him. He wants to sit down at a table like I'm at. And he wants to speak to you today. But if you go off on a tangent, and you take some scripture or some teaching or some doctrine or some religion or some idea, and you run with it, maybe you're telling yourself a lot more than what God is telling you. Maybe. Just maybe. You need to take a moment, you need to step aside, you need to step back, and you need to be still and know that He is God, and then let Him reveal the truth of whatever it is that you're holding on to and clinging to and think that that's your faith, when really all God wants you to do is to give it to Him, to give it to Jesus. It's pretty simple being a Christian. It's just trusting in the Lord with all your heart. Not fighting the fights of faith. That's not what it's all about. It's sharing who Jesus is in you. And Jesus can take care of the rest. Don't go out there thinking you're a warrior of God. God's already conquered. He's already got the victory. You just need to rest in Him.